Hello and welcome to Creative Marketing TV. My name is Susan Joy Schlieff. I am the founder of Creative Marketing TV and your host for the show and your trainer as well for today. We have a special training episode today and we're going to talk about squeeze page design. Some people call them opt-in pages. Sometimes people refer to them as landing pages, but I think that's not exactly the same thing as a squeeze page or opt-in page. So this episode I'm calling Think Outside the Opt-in Box. And I'm going to show you a little bit about one of my favorite tools for creating opt-in boxes. But we're also going to talk about the overall process because I find it's one of the most confusing parts about internet marketing for many people. I've seen a lot of different trainers approach teaching parts of this and I've seen the audience just get really confused and asking all kinds of questions that don't really get answered to their satisfaction. So I have a new approach that I'm using uh, developing for uh, helping people really come to grasp how this whole process works and what their choices are. And I'll tell you more about that later on in the episode. So let me get my PowerPoint slides open here to start with. And then I need to also turn off my lower third so it's not blocking the bottom of the slides there. All right, there we go. So, I'm calling this new process that I'm working on launchables, but actually, you know what? We're not going to start with the slides. I apologize for that. Um, we are going to start with looking at my favorite tool. Now, I recently purchased a couple of new tools and I haven't had much practice with them yet so I'm not going to show you those today. The newest one that I just bought less than a week ago they don't even have any training available for it yet so I don't know what I'm doing with it um, but hopefully I'll be able to show you that sometime soon. Today we're going to look at a program called Landing Page Monkey and I've been using this for almost two years now and I it took me a little bit to figure it out at the beginning but I really love it now it's I find it very easy to use um, and I'm going to show you initially here a couple of the pages that I've created in the past I'll just bring them up here and show you what they look like and as you'll see these are full page opt-ins which are very different than what people used to use in the past where they had a little form on the side in the, in the uh, side panel on a web page. These are also what's called a two-step opt-in, which means on this initial page, there's no place to enter your email address. All it is is an offer for some free content. And in this case, it's a free ebook doesn't give you a lot of information about it even, although you could add a little bit more here. When we click on this first page, that brings up the place to enter your email address. Now, there are some reasons that people get better results with that kind of page. And I'll show you a couple more as I talk about that. Um, one reason is it's very uncluttered. Here's one with a little bit more text over here that describes what's in the offer. And this one, as you can see, has a full photo rather than a video in the background. And again, if we click through to here, that's when it will ask for the email address. This one is for a four-week email course, three emails per week. So here there's a lot more to read. but. Um, it's still a pretty uncluttered page, 
has a big image in the background, which is the trend these days. Uh, they're calling these hero images, where it fills up the whole screen. And of course, it's eye candy. You know, people enjoy the, all that visual content. And they also enjoy the fact that there's not a lot of reading on the page. Here's one that I did where I created a little animated video that's running in the background. The others, I've used uh, other people's videos, but this one is one that I created and then just ran it in the background there. Again, some bullet points explaining what they're going to get. And let's see, here's one for an e-course on visual branding. Again, a, a large image in the background, a description of what they're going to get if they sign up for the e-course. Here's one for my checklist for downloading free pictures. And notice there are some options in this program where you can animate the box with the description just to get a little bit more attention to people's eyes drawn to it. Now this one I had a different background and just this last week I was going to use this as an example in my blog post so I updated it to a video that seemed a little bit more appropriate for the topic. I think I had a waterfall in there before and I thought eh, I have some better videos I could put in there. So took me hardly any time at all to update this and add a new video to it. So here's one of my favorites. And then uh, what I'll do is open up uh, a new one and show you some of the pieces that are involved here. This is one I did last year for people to download a bundle of free photos for Halloween. It's a really simple video, but it's very dramatic. And of course, once they click here, it asks for their name and email address in order to get the free pictures. So let's look at what's involved in creating a new opt-in using Landing Page Monkey. One of the things I like about this program is that you can clone an existing opt-in. So let's clone the Halloween pictures one that we were just looking at. Come over here and click on the clone button. And it logged me out. OK. <laughs> Sorry, that that's the one thing I don't like about this program is that it tends to log you out without giving you a warning that you're logged out or that you're going to be logged out. So. Uh, I need to switch my screen here so that I'm not showing everybody my password. <laughs> Let me copy that. And for some reason, my mouse is not working. <laughs> OK. All right, let's try that again. Free pick Halloween, click clone. All right, so the name of it to start with is clone of the one that we copied. So we'll change the name there. And I'll just call this test. Open. We can choose where we want that box to show up, either left, middle, or right. And that's going to depend on the video that we use. 
Um, the one I think I'm going to use is the one that I included last week in a or a couple weeks ago in the opt-in for the uh, ice cream graphics that I was giving away. And I know that one had a better spot for the box on the left. Now we can change the background color of the box, that is. Let's just make that uh, turquoise. Um, animation for the box. There's a lot of different ways to do that. Let's make it flashy. I don't think I've ever even tried that. We'll see what it looks like. Now this background color is going to show up if for some reason the video doesn't work and if there's no image. And one thing that it needs to be pointed out is the videos are not going to play automatically on a mobile device. There's no way around that. That has to do with the settings on smartphones and iPads. It's a matter of preserving battery use to not have videos autoplay. So there's no way you're going to get a, a background video to autoplay on a smart device, on a mobile device. So instead, it's going to use a background image or the background color. So let's set a color. And I think I'll use uh, purple for that. And then let me see if I have an image we can use. The image has to be uploaded to your own website. You can't link it to a video page or some, I mean, a, an image site or something like that. So let me find an image that we can use for that. Let's see. Oh, shoot. I'm not seeing one right here. But, oh, I think maybe. Well, you know what? I have a link here for a video. So we'll use that. And then if. Um, And on a, uh, if it were looking at it on a mobile device, then it would just go to the color background instead. So let me grab the. I'm not seeing that actually. I thought I had copied the link over for the video, but now I'm not seeing it. So you know what, we will leave these the same as what they are for the Halloween one. Because I don't have another video link ready to grab right now. But both, again, both the video and the image would have to be uploaded to the media page on your WordPress site or wherever you have images and videos saved on your website if it's not WordPress. And let's see, let's make the button, uh, we'll make it orange. And the text color can be black, that's fine. And let's change the text here to, we'll just say test here. And instant access is fine. That's what's gonna show up on the second page on the button. So this is all the styling for the main page. Let's click on preview and see what that looks like. Okay, because we have the same video that's there, but notice it changed the background color. It changed the button to orange. Oh, the text is wrong here, and we're going to fix that in the next section. All right. But I don't know if you remember when we looked at that before, the box was orange and it was over on the right side. So you can see what we changed there. Now we're going to go to the page content. And this is where we can change the headline. 
and let's make this uh, get your free download here. And then we would put some new bullet points in. I'm not going to take the time to do that right now. You don't need to be watching me type all that. But you would you know, put in bullet points there that would tell people about the benefits of downloading your free gift. And then at the bottom here, this is going to be the text on the second page where they actually have to enter their name and email. So I'm going to leave it saying, enter your name and email. And let's just say, get your free ebook now. And we can change text color and fonts and things like that as well. You can see that's pretty easy to do here. The next thing that we need to do is connect this to the autoresponder. And I already have that done on mine. You have to select your email service, of course. If you don't have one of these three, then you go through custom and the instructions will walk you through how to do, through how to do that. I actually use get response, so that's fine. I clicked yes that I do want to include their name. And then this campaign token is where you connect it to a specific list in your email system. So I'm just going to leave it at that since this is a test. And we're not going to have anybody actually opting into it anyway. The redirection URL here is where once they click and enter their email address, you can take them to a separate page and I didn't used to do that at first, but lately I have started doing that and taking them to a thank you page where I can make an offer for a small, low-priced upsell while they're waiting to confirm their opt-in for the free, the free gift. I can say, while you're waiting to receive the email about your free ebook, watch this short video or or maybe if you don't want to do a sales video you can just put the information right there on that page and say would you like to get some additional help we have a special offer today you can sign up for our group coaching program or maybe you don't even want to charge for it maybe it's just join our Facebook group to get some additional help or it could be sign up for the uh, training video series in addition to the ebook and then have a price for the videos that would of course have to be linked to a buy button on that page but that's a great way to use that redirection page and that would have to be set up on your website or have a, a link to a video that you would send them to whatever that is you're going to put that in here as the redirection URL for now, I am going to take that out because we haven't set anything up for this particular campaign. And then because we're linking this to a particular email list, we want to send them an autoresponder message once they opt in. And this is where you tell them which message do you want to start with once they have signed up for your list. And we're going to start with day zero. You would set that up in your email system so that day zero would be your welcome email and it's going to go out immediately after they opt into your list. So this last section isn't anything that we need to deal with. That's more advanced scripting and I have never even looked at that. So 
I'm going to go ahead and click Save on this. Actually, we'll preview it again first. OK, so there's our new box, our background video. If we click Test here, that takes us to our new opt-in. Notice before it said downloading free images. Now it says get your free ebook. So we know it's taking our changes. If we went ahead and opted in there, it's not going to take us to a thank you page because we didn't put that in. It would simply uh, tell the person they had been added to the list. And then they're going to have to wait until they get the email from GetResponse asking them to confirm their opt-in. That's another reason why I like including that thank you page here is then you can tell the person Thank you for your interest in our whatever it is they're requesting. Um, say an email is, will be on its way to you shortly, asking you to confirm your opt-in. In the meantime, please take a look at this offer or this video or whatever it is that you have for them. Let's go ahead and save this, and I'll show you what happens next. You have a couple of options with Landing Page Monkey, and I find them pretty easy. If you have a WordPress site, you this doesn't di connect directly with a plugin or anything like that, but you can download this HTML file for the page we just created, and then um, add that HTML link to one of your WordPress pages. I've done that before. It works pretty well. But they also, I shouldn't say pretty well. It works very well. They also have an option here for you to let them host the page for you. And then all you do is copy this link. It has a small watermark in the bottom, but that's not very noticeable. So if we copy that link, then we can share that in an email or maybe add it to a blog post or something that is going to take our visitors to that page that we just created. They also have a pixel here that you can copy to your confirmation page or your download page that lets you track who actually goes all the way through the whole process. And that gives you some really good statistics about whether people drop out in the process or if they actually go all the way through and download the free gift you're offering them. So I like that. And um, that's part of why you can get these statistics on here, where, for instance, this one shows me that I had 232 impressions of people looking at this page. 147 people actually submitted their information on that page. So that's, well, it calculates it for you here. It's a 74% opt-in rate, right? And then shows you the number of people, the percentage that took action, the TP hits. I forget what that stands for, actually. Oh, I think that's the ones that actually went all the way through to that tracking pixel that we just talked about. So the overall, how many people opted in was 63%, and the number that, and the number of those people that actually went through and downloaded the information is 74%. That doesn't quite make sense. I don't know why there's more for that than there are for this, but anyway. The tracking statistics are there. They have very good help information about interpreting all of these statistics, and their uh, help desk support is very good as well. Anyway, um, that's one of the tools that I really like. I have a couple others, like I said, that I'm still learning. But there are so many new tools coming out all the time now that they keep adding new technology to it. The trend, as I said, is moving away from those old style of small opt-in boxes and instead going to these big graphical pages where 
it just looks entertaining and inviting and appealing and there's less focus on having a lot of text for people to read so if anybody's particularly interested in landing page monkey i do have an affiliate uh um, what's the, I can't think of the word um, an affiliate link for you if you wanted to purchase that it's not an expensive program and I would be happy to help you get started using it as well although their training is quite good too but I wanted to show you a little bit of what's involved all the different connections that need to be made to your email autoresponder to your thank you page on your WordPress site, all like all these different connections that need to happen, because I wanted you to get a sense of that before I show you the blueprint that I have put together for you. So let me stop sharing this page and go back now to my slides where I have the information about the blueprint. All right, so first of all, just to clarify a term here, I'm calling this launchables, but I'm not talking about a big product launch that the big gurus are doing on internet marketing where there's, you know, thousands of dollars coming in and all these big uh, hyped up email marketing sequences and lots of affiliates and it could be that but it doesn't have to be a launch can refer to you've created a free lead magnet to get people onto your email list and maybe you don't even have a product yet that you're selling yourself on that upsell for the thank you page you don't even have to have that first of all but if you do want to because it's a great opportunity you can sell an affiliate product that's related to your field or your market so it can be very simple but you still need to understand all of the pieces that are involved and one of the things I'm doing with this blueprint is setting it up so you can look at okay I'm just getting started with this what's the simplest option I can use and then as you advance and get ready to add additional options the choices will be there for you to do that so the first thing here is showing you from the consumers perspective what it would be like for them to go through the process and this one is set up with a double opt-in now some email providers don't require you to have that actually get response that I use doesn't require it but I have started using it because the double opt-in allows you to track then how many people go through the process because you have to have some place to put that tracking pixel so here's what the blueprint would look like for the consumers perspective of a double opt-in The first thing is they're going to be reading your content or watching your videos or something that you're sharing with them or teaching them. And if they find it valuable, then they may decide to take action on an offer you make for them. Maybe it's to click on a link to get more information, or maybe you offer what's called a content upgrade in a blog post. You might have at the end, um, if you enjoyed this blog post click here to get a PDF with more information or click through here to get access to a series of training videos about the same topic some way to give them more about what they just enjoyed when they click on that link it's going to take them perhaps right to an opt-in page or it might take them to a two-step page like we just lo looked at where there might be a big picture in the background or a video maybe the first page just has a description of the offer and then the second page has the opt-in form 
that could happen a couple different ways. But when they get to the page where it asks for their email, they're going to fill in their email and then submit. If the way that I'm describing that you should probably set it up, then they will be taken to a thank you page. Maybe you'll have a sales video for them there, or maybe you'll just have a sales page there for some additional upsell for a low-priced item or maybe even a free offer, like I said, to join your Facebook group or something like that. Or maybe it's a, a link to schedule a free conference call with you, a, a coaching call, consultation or something like that. And uh, as I said, on that thank you page, you're probably going to have a message that says, um, you know, that they should watch for an email to come asking them to confirm their opt-in. And in the meantime, watch this video or read the description of this offer. Let's say in this scenario, our consumer declines the upsell, the upsell and they're just going to go back to their email inbox then. They'll find that email. They'll click on the link to confirm that they do want to opt into your list. Then once they do that, they will either get another email with the download link or preferably they'll get redirected to a page on your website a hidden page that nobody's going to find unless they get this redirection from you that takes them right to that page where they can download their free content. So you can see there is a lot going on in the background there, but from the end user's perspective, it's pretty easy to figure out what to do. And then once they are on your list, of course, then they're going to get that download. Hopefully, they're going to read it and use it, and they're going to start receiving emails from you. Now, let's look at that from the marketer's perspective. First, it assumes that you're sharing content with people that helps them solve a problem. And then, at some point, you're going to create and upload your lead magnet. Hopefully it's an irresistible one that is going to solve a problem that people are really looking for help with. Once you create that and upload it, you want to save the URL and set it aside. You're going to use it later in this process. Then you need to create and publish the opt-in form, similar to what I just showed you in Landing Page Monkey. Obviously, there are lots of other tools to use for that as well. Opt-in page or the squeeze page, whichever you want to call it. Once, they, once your uh, prospect opts in there, you have to have your autoresponder system set up to automatically send them an email asking them if you're going to do double opt-in then it has to send them an email asking them to confirm their subscription. And while that's happening in the background, you can also, if you choose to, redirect them to a thank you page. And as I discussed on that page, <clears throat> you're going to tell them to watch for the confirmation email. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can also include on that page an upsell offer for a product or service. If they're going to buy something, then it would have to redirect them either maybe to a sales page or have a buy button right there on the, on the thank you page or redirect them to a shopping cart if you use one. I don't, I just use PayPal, so I would just put a PayPal button, a PayPal buy button right on that thank you page. Now, if your email provider is automated enough, uh, you can do this with some rules that you define. If not, it's something you may want to do manually 
if that person does buy your upsell offer, you want to move them off of just the free list onto your buyer's list because you're going to send them different kinds of email then based on the fact that they've already bought something from you. From there, of course, you're going to continue sending them emails on a regular basis. But you also have a follow-up from the original opt-in where they ask to be on your email list. So you actually have two processes to follow up on there. And that's where, depending on how complex your auto, uh, your auto responder system is, you may need to go in there and manually clean that up. You probably don't want them on both lists, but it depends on how you have your different email lists segmented. So as you can see, there are a lot of pieces to that process. And you have a lot of choices for how to set it up at any stage of that process. This blueprint that I have started working on is going to involve multiple scenario maps. That's just one that we looked at involving a double opt-in. It's going to have click-through options for each of those boxes where you can get more details about how to set up each step of those processes. And I also am setting up a group coaching offer to help people who would like more help figuring out how to actually do each of those steps in the process. And that group coaching will involve detailed worksheets where you can uh, keep track of what you're doing with each step of the process. Remember that one point I said you're going to upload your lead magnet and then you need to keep track of the URL where you put that lead magnet. Well, you need someplace to put that until you're ready to use it, right? So the worksheet is going to be a way for you to organize all that information for each different part of the process. So the blueprint I'm offering for free, and there will be a small charge for the group coaching, although at the initial stage here, because it's still evolving, you'll have an opportunity to get in at a very low cost. There will be more information about that when you opt in for the blueprint. Joining the group coaching now will also give you the opportunity to make sure you get your questions answered and you'll end up shaping the way the whole program is going to go in the future based on your input and your questions. So for now, the only thing you have to opt in for is the blueprint. Here's the link on the screen and I'm also going to put it in a clickable link in the video description and in a YouTube card on the screen. So you don't need to worry about typing all that in, although it's there if you do want to do it that way. So I hope that was informative and not too overwhelming. It is a complex process, so I understand why people get confused, but there are ways to make it more manageable and that's what I hope to share with you with the blueprint and if you choose also with the group coaching. So that is our episode for today about thinking outside the opt-in box to a more elaborate, user-friendly, eye candy appeal opt-in page and hopefully to getting some help with how to set up that whole process for yourself. Again, my name is Susan Joy Schlieff. I'm the founder and host for Creative Marketing TV. I'd be happy to have you join us and at least certainly download the blueprint. I'd love to get your feedback about how to make it more helpful for you and everyone else. And that's it for today's episode of Creative Marketing TV. Please leave comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And I hope to see you soon.